We need more complex and more diverse concepts of what science is and who does science if we're ever going to solve the problems that we're facing in the 21st century. I think there's a lot of aspects of science to destroy as we know it, needing to blow it up because it needs to be remade in a way that works for people. New Science is an exhibit both here on the public floor at the California Academy of Sciences, uh, but also in digital form through the Google Arts and Culture platform, which is an exhibit focusing on the stories of 23 incredible individuals who all have identities that intersect with scientists, but also with being persons of color in many cases, being immigrants, being women, or being people who are transgender or gender non-conforming but working in STEM and being really successful in doing so. Oftentimes, things about our identities leave us feeling othered. And that otherness makes people feel like they're allowed to question the way that you do science, the interpretations that you make, or just the quality of your science itself. And oftentimes those things go really understated or unrecognized in the moment. And it's only later on as they accumulate in your mind that you begin to doubt your ability as a scientist. And I think for me, this is really why it's important to have visibility. It's important to have strong role models that are out there that whose identity you uh, identify with that tells you that you're not alone, that there is a place for you and that your opinion and your identity as a scientist is valued, not in spite of those attributes that you bring, but because of them. We've now founded Black and Marine Science and we have truly built an organization that's aimed to celebrate Black marine scientists, spread environmental awareness, and inspire the next generation of scientific thought leaders. And that's what we really want to do, change the face of who people see as scientists. What we see in AI is that major AI labs kind of support a lot of types of domination, either financial domination or kind of military or security-based domination. I'm an Arab-American trans woman, so that already means by feature of being Arab, my body and my person is already under increased scrutiny after 9-11. And the fact that I'm trans furthers and deepens that kind of suspicion. Holding these identities makes me very critical of these systems and offers me kind of a lens and a way, a viewpoint in thinking about how we can push back and challenge them. I don't view myself as a conventional scientist, but like that shouldn't be the case because what does a scientist look like? I want to create like a space so that people who are like me, people who are queer, who have many marginalized identities, who don't normally see themselves as scientists to like look at yourself and be like, yeah, you are one. And like you are more powerful than other conventional scientists because you have these awesome ideas and you have this awesome community. The ocean is literally on fire. So what are we doing um, to change that? And I think it really is going to take leaders that look like all types of people, but also leaders that are in differences in ages, differences in abilities, differences in thoughts, because it's going to take everyone. My vision for new science is a science that doesn't have barriers, and the barriers that have been placed are actively work to be broken down and that there is truly and sincerely access for all.